Hi there, this is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and a big time enthusiast, been using it for years and love its organizational capacity. In this video, you're gonna get my final suggestions. Make MailMate work the way that you want. This is basically taking everything that I've covered in all of the previous videos in this series and really making MailMate be exactly what you want. So we've covered all of the different topics that allow you to make MailMate filter your email and present it the way that you want. I've suggested that you use smart mailboxes as your primary method of looking at your mail. Don't go to the general inbox anymore. Make the smart mailboxes show your mail the way that you need to interact with your email. Also, check out all of the settings. There are so many settings that are power user settings in MailMate that really you can do pretty much anything. You can edit your mail externally in any other of the other popular editors, Atom, Sublime, you name it. You can integrate and use Markdown. You can use code. You can use your math uh, formatting for all of your text. You can use syntax highlighting. You can basically turn this into a powerful editor for email for the most part. I've never come across any other email client that gives you as much power as this does. If you don't want to see something and it doesn't make sense, for example, all of these folders on the side right here, I don't really care that I have 266 messages in my all messages. And I don't care about my inbox or my drafts. I only want to know this week what are the messages that I'm going to be interested in that do not include the, pr the promotional and the social mail? And we already took a look at our smart mailboxes uh, filtering video in order to see how to do that. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to right click on all of them and choose the options that I have available. The displayed count, no count. I don't want to see all of this email. Maybe it's frustrating for me to see that I've got 50,000 messages in my Gmail inbox. No problem, turn it off and only see what's important to you. So what this does is it cleans up my user interface. These numbers now become important. They become valuable to me. They're not just numbers that make me frustrated. I have two in my inbox that are unread. Okay, I read that one, I read that one. Okay, maybe now I've got what I would consider a uh, mailbox zeroed out or inbox zero, whatever that is. Basically, I don't care however much email is in here or is not in here. I simply want to be able to work and edit my email so that it actually helps me get work done. My other suggestion before I close out this series is by all means, you will never learn as much as is possible to do in MailMate unless you take a look at the help. Spend a little bit of time, open the help, go through the table of contents and just read. You will find more features than I've actually been able to show in this short little video series that will make MailMate even more ingrained into your daily routine because it just offers that much power to you. And finally, my best suggestion is get started and just work with it. It's gonna be a constant tweaking. It's very much like if you've worked with Vim or if you've worked with uh, TextMate or if you've worked with Sublime, Atom, you name it, you're constantly refining your environment. And unlike all of the other editors such as Apple Mail and Outlook and anything else where they give you so many features, they don't give you all of the features that allow you to really customize the environment to make it exactly what you want. MailMate is the first email client that I found that does that and it does it extremely well. So the best I can give you is best of luck with managing your own email. Turn this into the environment that helps you get your work done and by all means, help the developer out and give him as much support as possible. He's got a method where you can give an on uh, recurring amount to help support him. He is an individual developer. He's not Apple. He doesn't have major bucks behind him. But if you find this editor worthful, uh, worthwhile and valuable, by all means support him because I really personally do not want to see this email client go away. The developer is a brilliant developer, constantly adding in new features, supporting the app, and doing a stellar job at it. 
So this is Matt Petrowski signing off for this series about using MailMate. I hope you've enjoyed all of the videos. And if you like any of the other nerdy, QWERTY type of stuff, check out my channel on YouTube. It is QWERTY.com. See you later.